Okay, so first of all, sorry about the uh, poor quality and the lateness of this review. I'm currently on vacation, and uh, this is pretty much the only time that I was able to step aside and do this review. Um, so the Deadpool trailer dropped a couple days ago, and I got a chance to, to view it. What I like about it is they teased it a little bit with this little short teaser trailer with Ryan Reynolds in the Deadpool suit and this whole voiceover thing. I, I thought that was really clever. The marketing for this this movie has been pretty pretty good so far. They did it differently from the from the other uh, trailers that I released from Comic Con because you know the whole Suicide Squad trailer got leaked online, and, and, and Warner Brothers was just like you know it, let's just um, put it out there and have everybody see it. And I'm really glad they did that. Um, but Deadpool kind of did it a little differently. They said, hey. The the trailer is not not ready yet for um, for online, so we're gonna wait three weeks and then we'll give it to you. And then this the, the, little, the little teaser trailer dropped, and I thought that was really cool. And then uh, a couple days ago, the the official trailer got released, and it's awesome. I really, I really like this trailer. It's it's everything that I love about the character of Deadpool from the very few comics that I've seen him in, and and it's a couple of the animated um, uh, cartoons I've seen him in. And this trailer really just like encompasses everything you love about Deadpool. <laughs> and and like I said before, I really enjoyed this trailer. Um, I, I, I it, not that I wasn't pumped up for this movie to come out. Um, anyways, but. Um, it just gets me more excited for this for this movie, and, and so basically, Wade Wilson, played by Ryan Reynolds, uh, is riddled with cancer, and he gets um, mutant powers um, put in, so, and so that sort of counteracts the cancer and um, makes him a superhero. And then we have this movie, and I gotta say, Ryan Reynolds is absolutely perfect for this role. His humor is so Deadpoolish. If that's a, a word from the character that I know Deadpool from. Ryan Reynolds is just the perfect person to helm the character and and I'm just so glad that he gets another chance to portray Deadpool rather than go by what we got from X-Men Origins Wolverine and I don't know what they were thinking with that rendition of Deadpool it just it was just so far from the original character and just it, it made no sense to do that and I'm just so glad that X-Men Days of Future Past just erases that completely because now and now we get this this Deadpool I'm just really excited uh, for that and in this trailer you basically get the same uh, fight scene you get from the leaked footage and it's just probably like a, a fun little sequence in the film and it's probably just in the film very briefly and that whole sequence just really was so awesome this movie's not gonna give any f i have a feeling this movie is gonna be a total like shoot em up like guilty pleasure kind of feel to it it's so true to the character of deadpool you see it in the trailer he does all these flips that are Kind of pointless but it just it adds to the fun element of the film and i just i really hope that the court the fight choreography and the action um setups in this movie are a lot like that because it was just it, it, it's just again it, it will fit the character and the movie so well because that's what deadpool is and another thing that um i was really hoping for and i'm really glad they did this was they animated Deadpool's eyes because like an actor can only do so much to sell like the emotion of the character through their body language and like with Deadpool's mask it's like covered his entire face and his eyes if you see it in the comic books his eyes tell you so much about his emotions it adds so much to his character in the comic books and I'm just I'm so glad they did that with this and there's one thing that the leaked footage um, and you know the comic-con trailer did that I don't think that this trailer did was Deadpool breaking the fourth wall I can't remember where I read this I think it was on um, it was on one of the sites I, I, I browse they, they said that Deadpool's not gonna have schizophrenia and I'm, I'm okay with that I say it in all my reviews with you know adaptations of books and comic books what, what works from one medium is not going to specifically work for another one, and that might be been something they left out from the character because it, it just wouldn't have worked. But one thing that I really hope they don't take out is um, Deadpool breaking the fourth wall. He does that all the time in comic books. He's constantly aware that he's in a comic book, and if and I want him to be aware that he's in a movie um, for this film because it's just it's such a key component of the Deadpool character, and he. He sort of did that at the end of this trailer, but but he did it more in the other ones. I'm just gonna be really disappointed if he doesn't do that. I'm sure he will, but you know, there's always a chance that he won't. I'm just really hoping they don't take that element of him away. This is one of the mini trailers that we've gotten this summer with you know the Star Wars, Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad. What this proves is trailers are getting really good, um, for, for the most part. You know, for for the most part, the trailers are getting really good. And because what a trailer is supposed to do is give you enough information to to know what the movie's about without giving anything away, and also 
tell me what the tone is going to be for the film. I, I'm, I'm for sure that the tone that this trailer sets is the tone that the film is going to have. This in general, trailers are really starting to do that better. I mean, yeah, you get a couple of trailers now and then that, you know, they show you one thing and then the movie's completely different. And that's all because of marketing and, and things like that. This trailer really gives me a sense of, like, the overall tone and just overall what kind of comedy we're going to get out of this film. And it just it just seems so perfect. Again, everything that this trailer showed me just seems so perfect for the character of Deadpool. And the last thing I want to talk about, this movie seems to be a movie that was made for the fans. This movie went from being teased and leaked footage, the overall awesome reaction the fans gave it, and it just went from that to being a film like that. And I think this movie was one of the quickest turnarounds I've ever seen in any kind of movie because since that footage got leaked online, the fans pushed for this movie to be made and they wanted this movie to be made so badly. And Fox listened and they, they cranked this film out and went from, it just it just seems like yesterday Ryan Reynolds officially signed on from this film. And then you see pictures of him with the suit and now they're shooting and now we get a Comic Con trailer and it's just it just seemed like it went by so quickly and now it's gonna be coming out February next year and and it's just I'm just really excited for it. So the Deadpool trailer. Have you guys seen it? What did you think about it? Leave a comment below. Tell me what your thoughts are. Don't forget to hit that like button below. Help me out, please. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Again, I'm on vacation right now. Again, I apologize for the quality of this video. Be on the lookout for my Fantastic Four uh, review. That's going to be coming out. I'm going to try to go see that movie as soon as I get back. So keep your eye out for that. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, you can click right here and see more videos. Bye, Andrew.